Hi everyone, it's Taylor here today, and I'd like to share with you how I created this set of simple cards using several Tailored Expressions products. It all starts with the In Your Corner stamp set that features four different floral corner arrangements. There's one for each season, spring, summer, fall, and winter, along with large scale sentiments that work perfectly with the size of the arrangements. I did decide to bring in a different sentiment set for this set of cards, and I have the hand lettered sentiments that I'll be using. We also have the boxed in corners, which are pre-printed doodle borders, and you can see there are corner openings where those floral arrangements fit just perfectly. You can stamp two florals, one in each corner, or just use the one with one open corner. Next I have our drip drops embellishments that are really sparkly and shiny. You do need a little bit of adhesive to adhere those. They are a flat back embellishment. And I also use Embelly Jelly as my pick and place tool. You just take a little bit of that Embelly Jelly out of the case and place it onto the stick that is sold with it. And then you can easily pick and place your embellishments onto the liquid glue that you have on your project. I will also be using deco foil. These pre-printed boxed in corners panels are printed with toner and so they will accept any kind of foil. And I'll be using Oreo ink for the stamping. So let's start with two of those stamps. I'm grabbing the one that is themed for spring and summer along with a few of my panels. You can see here that it comes in a set of 12 and there are some that have two open corners and some that just have one open corner. So I'm going to show you how to use both of those with the Misty. I'm going to take my stamp and place it into one of the open corners, inking it with my Oreo ink and then closing the lid to stamp it perfectly within that corner opening. Then I'm going to take that cardstock and rotate it 180 degrees, ink again and stamp to place that stamp right into the opposite open corner. That was super simple and this is even easier with just one corner opening. You just close the lid once and you have it stamped down there in the bottom corner. Now let's try that again with a little different style border and one of the other stamps. You'll see I've shifted this slightly away from the outside edge of the Misty because my stamp was just touching the edge just enough. Um, so when you rotate it, just make sure that you line it up exactly with the same spot that you were in previously. I've moved it just one grid line space away from the outside edge. And I'm going to do the same here with the one corner opening at the top right, just stamping that down until I have four completed stamped panels, some with two corners and some with just one. So the next step is to get these all colored in. I decided to use my Copic markers for this step, but you could also grab your colored pencils and maybe blend with your Gamsol if that's something you enjoy doing instead of Copics. So here I'm using a two color blend for each of the different colors. I can go ahead and list those colors out in the description of the video, but it's really just a simple two color blend, starting with the light color, going to the dark color, and then coming back to pull those two colors together with the light again. So check out the description of the video if you'd like to see all of the colors that I used. I just chose something very springy, kind of get away from the dull winter blues right now to choose something with bright and fun colors. So I'm going to go ahead and color that opposite floral corner arrangement until the card is finished. And then I have three more to go, but magic, they are all done and colored up. So the next step is going to be to add our sentiments. I decided to use the hand lettered sentiments for this set and I'm going to set those up in the Misty. I grab that and put it down, picking it up with my lid and making any adjustments I need to to make sure that sentiment stamps straight onto the panel. I chose a different sentiment for each card panel and they all fit really nicely within the open space that I have. I wanted to add a little bit of a shiny touch to these cards and so I grabbed my deco foil and my mink machine. Here I have a piece of parchment paper that I've folded in half and a piece of typing paper that I add just for stability. I'll be using this as my carrier to place it through the mink machine. So here I have the silver foil and I'm placing that shiny side up on the printed portions of the panel. Now the foil is not going to stick to the stamped images, only to the toner printed areas of each panel. So when I peel that away, you can see that the foil has stuck to the outer border that was pre-printed on each panel. When I rotate that in front of the camera, you can see just how shiny and shimmery it is when it catches the light. I just love using this. It's such a super easy technique and I think it really makes a set of cards look very polished, almost like something you could purchase in a store. 
Now, if you're ever having trouble getting your foil to stick to the toner printed areas, I do have a tip that has been helpful for me. If I do have trouble, I will sometimes put that carrier sheet back through again, just to give it even more heat and allow that foil to adhere to the toner print. So try sending it through twice if you don't have success the first time. Here I have just card bases that coordinate with the Copic colors that I chose. I have Lime Zest, Cookie Monster, Pineapple, and Lollipop, and I'm just adhering those directly to the card base using my Scotch Dot Adhesive. I decided to add some Drip Drops embellishments. I thought the shimmer of the embellishments worked really well with the shine that's on the foil that we put around the border. So I'm arranging those, and then after I have them arranged where I want them, I will take and move them slightly out of place and put my glue down. I'm using Tombow Mono Multi-Liquid Glue and just place my glue onto the space where the embellishment used to sit, and then I can take my Embelly Jelly and pick and place those right into the spots that I wanted them to go. So I now have a set of four finished cards, really happy and sunshiny and super easy. So I hope you learned something new today and that you will give this in your corner stamp set and the pre-printed boxed in panels a try yourself. You can find all of these products at the Tailored Expressions web store at tailoredexpressions.com.